tent, and uh, right there by the entrance, it's free to go in, and we've got all kinds of animals in there. We've got baby zebra, baby Neil guy, baby Elin, baby all kinds of other babies. But we brought with us for the first time this year a Z donk. Half zebra, half donkey. You'll have to go see him. He's pretty cool. Oh, We've also got camel rides for kids of all ages <laughs> and pony rides for kids under 60 pounds. But since we don't get paid for advertising, let's get on with the show, shall we? Oh, but wait. There is one more unique, well, thing I need to introduce to you. He's going to be handling the pigs for us today. He's probably the best dressed. Probably the most professional. At home, they call him the Pig Whisperer. Give a big hand for my partner in swine, Brother Elroy! Woo! Partner. Hey, and ladies, he is still single. I say that. You probably see why. Woo! Now, I need to ask y'all, how many of y'all have ever seen a pig race before? Raise your hand. I've seen a bunch of Look at that. How many of y'all ain't never seen a pig what? race before? Raise your hand. Wow. How many of y'all just like raising your hand? Raise your hand. And how many of y'all that raise your hand yet at all? Raise your hand. All right, just check it. Wait for those of you folks that have not ever seen a pig race before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explain a little bit about how this is going to happen. You see old brother Railroad here. And he's going to back here onto the hog hilton. He's going to bring them four racing pigs. He's going to have them up into the starting gates. One, two, three, and four. Then he's going to put a racing soak on them. They're going to be wearing red, white, blue, and yellow. See, that way keep track of which pig you're cheering for. Pretty smart of us, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Now the next thing you're going to hear a bugle blow. You're going to hear a bell ring. He's going to have a hold of that star neighbor right there. He's going to flick that thing way back. These kids are going to fly right up with a fair little picture. They're going to burst him down this track. They're going to bump it up, bump it up, slip it up, slide through it. I'm going to go for the one Red, yellow, blue, and green. Y'all might want to watch out. You don't want to get none of that on you. It's awful hard. I'm going to do the yellow one. Yeah. They're going to squeal up on the second turn, go to the next stretch, and the second turn to the finish line side, where they will receive the silver trophy platter. Oh, the red trophy platter. Show them the red trophy platter. Ooh. Oh. And he does a good job of keeping that thing nice and shiny and clean. Because you see, it also doubles as a rodeo cowboy belt buckle. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Here it is. But our pigs don't actually race for a silver trophy platter. But you knew that, right? Nice. See, uh huh. But what you probably didn't know is we did not bring one of every pigs here to the Salem Fair. No, the genuine generic for the racing pigs from Nickerson, Kansas race for one Oreo cookie. Show them the Oreo cookie. There's the Oreo cookie. Now he's going to put that down there in the silver trophy platter. He's also going to throw a handful of pig feet down in there because you see, here at the pig races, it's like a real life situation. The winner gets the cookie, the loser gets the crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> now there is one more very important thing I need to tell each and every one of you folks out here. Yes, see old brother Elroy here, the most professional pig trainer in the whole pig trainer world. He not only trained these pigs to run for an Oreo cookie, no, he also trained to race for noise. You see, that's y'all's job. The louder y'all are, the more hooping and hollering, cussing, fussing, biting, screaming. Whatever it takes, that's how fast these little pigs are going to go running around the track. And as not give anyone pig an unfair advantage, we need to get some cheerleaders out of the crowd. That's right. So my first vote to you, my first vote to you would be that lady sitting on the end in the front row with the long hair and the white t-shirt with her hand in her mouth trying to ignore me because that's what I'm thinking. Yep, that's you, darling. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. Chad, you're going to be a nice Nope, the lady behind you, sweetie. Yep, that lady. That's the one I want. Come on in, darling. Give her a big round of applause, guys. Here she comes. Yeah. Be sure to step over two fences, because if you only step over one, you'll be racing the pigs. Yeah. All right. Now, let's see. I need another. What happened? Come on in, darling. Don't worry. You're never going to see any of these people again. Unless you go to Walmart. Yeah. All right. Go on in there next to Brother Elroy. Now, ladies, another one over this group right over here. I think I think I want the lady in the yellow shirt sitting on the front row. That's who I want. Come on in, darling. Now, ladies, one from this group right over here. I need a gentleman. I think. I love that. You want me? You want me to use the guy in the front row? Yeah. Oh. Come on in. All right. Now, I need one from this group right over here. Oh my. Hi. Oh, you want to be a cheerleader? Oh, that's all right. Come on in. Yeah, come on in, darling. All right. Brother Elroy's going to get them guys sit here in the middle there. And while he's doing that, I'm going to divide our crowd up into four equal cheering sections, all right? The, where's she going? 
The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right down the center of the pig track. Just like that. We got our first half. We got our second half. Now follow me closely because this is where it gets complicated, all right? I'm going to draw another line right about here. Another line right about there. And the first half, the first half, the red half, the second half, the first half, the white half, the first half, the second half, the blue half, and the left is yellow. Rooters, yellow rooters. You got that? We got the red, the white, the blue, and the yellow. Oh, yeah, now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you shaker people. Are you paying attention? When I introduce you, I want you to shake the daylights out of them shakers. Because the harder you shake them shakers, the louder your cheering section cheers. The louder your cheering section cheers, the faster little pig's going to run. The faster little pig's going to run, the quicker he's going to get to that Oreo cookie. And you know what happens if your pig gets the cookie first? You get to share that cookie with that pig. <laughs> So get in your ready positions. Why are you doing that? That's your ready positions? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. We're the first group with the red shakers. What's your name, darling? We got yeah. Kim! Shakers, shakers, Kim! Oh, wait, what we cheer for? Not bad. Now remember, when they shake, you cheer. They shake, you cheer. That's how this has to work. We're the second group with the white shakers. We got Kathy! Shakers, shakers, Kathy! Getting better. There's not a lot of you sitting there just staring at us, though, so we got to work on that. We're with the food group. We're with the blue shakers. I'm real loud, though. Oh, 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 oh. Sounds to me like Ben came with his own cheering section. Now, we're with the food group. We're with the yellow shakers. We're with the fifth anniversary of the Salem Fair. We got Vanessa! Oh, shakers, shakers, shakers! All these pigs have been big buff bodybuilders at one point in time or another, and I'm sure you're going to know who they are. And gate number one, going to be wearing the red silks. You ever pick right here, darling? Well, he was in all the Terminator movies. Do you see them Terminator movies? Yeah? Nope? Okay. He was a governor of one of them states out there on the West Coast. You have Mr. Arbidak. Arnold Schnitzen Hogger! Let's hear it for Arnold! <laughs> Turn to the left. Just wait, you'll get it. 